The ruling ZANU PF party has stated that opposition political parties shouldn't try to win over foreign poll observers by making unfounded accusations about how state institutions are operating throughout the election process. This comes after MDCT and CCC launched a campaign to disseminate erroneous information about how the Zimbabwean Election Commission and other public entities operate. The sanctity of Zimbabwean institutions needed to be preserved. According to ZANU PF spokesperson CD Christopher Matsvengwa, who was speaking at a press conference yesterday at the party's headquarters in Harare. The opposition appears to be waging a careless assault on Zimbabwe's voting system. It is unethical and irresponsible for CCC and MDCT to attack state institutions and constitutionalism without restraint. Why do they drag ZEC all the way to the courts over the voters' role when they could just call and ask? ZEC is trying its best. And to the observers I say don't be a complaints bureau for the opposition. In Zimbabwe, there are really more phones than people. We urge the CCC to behave responsibly and respect Zimbabwean state institutions. Said CDE Mats Benwa. He urged the public relations officers of the opposition parties to build strong relationships with government institutions and law enforcement organizations so that all of their issues would be addressed. But, CCC opposes that. It aims to indiscriminately target CRP. To avoid a confrontation with law enforcement, they put off taking action within the allotted timeframes. In order to deal with alleged internal rivals. CCC postponed the primary elections for ZANU PF till the last minute, and then it blamed ZEC, the men stated. Only a select individuals, including CCC spokesperson Fed Zaymeyer, have evolved into the party from the formerly reputable MDC led by Morgan Richard Stengerai. There won't be a miracle of democracy if you didn't mobilize voters to support you over the previous five years. CDE Mats Vengwa stated. ZANU PF wants at least 6 million votes for President Umnangogwa and the party. Because of President Umnangogwa's positive deeds, urban citizens who formerly supported the opposition have switched their loyalty to the ruling party. For that reason, we won't be creating a manifesto. CD Mats Vengwa stated that our works speak volumes about us and added that ZANU PF was not a violent organization. We denounced the acts of violence that resulted in one death in Glenview. Criminals should never be associated with any political party, instead, they should be dealt with as such. Thus, we express our gratitude to the ZRP for carrying out its work diligently in bringing the criminals to justice. CCC had no financing left to promote its programs, so they chose to unfairly criticize the national broadcaster ZBC, ZEC, and other state organizations instead. He attributed the CCC's failure to bring in investment to their two decades of power over metropolitan councils. They attribute the paucity of coverage to ZBC. What have they done to merit media attention? These allegations against media organizations are unjustified. If they choose, they can be excused from liability for failing to collect trash. They want us to talk about those topics when the steel and lithium plants are open. ZBC discusses that because there is a topic, he stated. He claimed that because of the Second Republic's re-engagement and engagement policies, the United States of America, which had previously sided with Zimbabwe's opposition political groups, now wanted to be neutral. We are pleased that America visited the ZANU PF offices. We want that joy to serve as a harsh reminder to them that they need to reflect and develop into true Zimbabweans, the official added. He rejected as false the allegations of violence made by various organizations, including the Presidential Center for Women and Development of former Liberian President Ellen Sirleaf Johnson. We finally achieved our freedom in 1980. We can legitimately claim to be Zimbabweans. We are pleased that international observers are visiting Zimbabwe in a sincere manner.